Hello everyone, welcome to Pug Muscle. My name is Pug Muscle. We're playing some more Everybody's Gone to the Rapture because this game is beautiful. Hey buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way. This is where we're gonna go. So we're gonna have to follow Wendy now. And you're gonna wait for here for me. Hello. Oh, birds, okay. Someone's a bird watcher. Let's get it right. Just gotta turn my controller until it's okay. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This good. morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. It's very interesting. The dead birds are a common... Thing now, and I wonder if we'll see them crop up around uh, people we know are going to be, you know. Oh, hello. If we'll see them crop up around time, like when someone we know is going to be disappearing soon, or if that's like a marker for that person. Whatever reason. That is awesome. I would love to have that in my backyard, a little pond. This is really just amazing. Okay, I'll try to stop talking about how beautiful this game is. And try to just focus on the game and figuring out what's going on. I wonder if we could go that way. How is this? I don't think there was light. It looks like something just reflecting on it. Okay, it's just a flower. Or, man, that's a really nice area just to come and sit. Okay. So we're learning about everyone else's journey um, through this. And I'm wondering if we'll just follow oh hi thank you we're just gonna follow individual story until they eventually are go with everyone else look at that Why is there a garage way out here? I guess it's you park your car here and then you, you walk way over there. Hey, buddy. Where are we going to now? Where did Wendy go? Really amazing. I actually might just take some time later and see if I can just walk around like through these streets. How big this area actually is until it tells me I can't go anymore. Hey. Going away, Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. Oh, yeah. First thing in the morning. Hey. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. 
Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Oh, really? But I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. So she seems pretty bitter. And Jeremy apparently had something in his past that was keeping him from going. If I can, oh, I can. Got a radio up here? Oh, okay. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. Hmm. I don't understand what that means. I don't either. Every computer in the observatory... Okay, now that's pretty interesting. And we'll be going down. So, we're, seems like we're getting an electrical interference of some sort, you know. Uh, yeah, buddy, I know. But there's things to see. What's in here? Tools! This is a really nice little tool shed. Like it very much. Books. Birds are very common. I mean, granted, you can tell that this area has a lot of. a lot of bird stuff. There's a lot of birds you can hear. Very big emphasis on that. Bags. They packed. Is that what they're trying to say? Those are some giant tennis balls. Huge. Biggest ones you can get. They apparently like to play their tennis. Rugby, and all kinds of great things. So. Not much else to be had over here. Hmm. And the phone ringing. Hey, buddy. Right there it is. Okay. Hi. Interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. Okay. So Stephen wanted it be kind of uh, taken care of and looks like they weren't sure about doing that which he was trying he was trying to mention that you know do you want to have that on your conscience well if you order an airstrike and it turns out to be nothing you have that on your conscience too I mean hello Frank Appleton Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock, you copy over. You dab bugger, Charlie, you don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious, it's not larking about. You'd be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny, <laughs> it's serious stuff, and you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll never argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. 
I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> I wonder what's going on. Uh oh. I just noticed that he's got bloody hemorrhaging as well. So I wonder what was going on. This dude sure's got a lot of stuff uh, on his property. It's that eerie noise now. Eerie music. It's not the happy-go-lucky stuff we were hearing earlier. I guess I can't go up that way, even though it looks like I can't. Slightly, slightly disappointing. Oh, I can. Okay. So it's definitely trying to tell me that there's things in certain areas. And... Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with RV. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he oh, always man. knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Okay. I will keep walking. I'm going to start trying to follow the uh, light directly and and stay focused on that instead of going in random directions and getting sidetracked. Yeah, I see all the dead the dead birds. You're killing the birds, man. Why are you killing all those birds? There's a lot of them. Yeah, I know. You're trying to lead me right by every single one of them. I, it's hard to not miss them. Timpworth Woods. Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Is that it? This is where you want me to go. But there's obviously something over here that you wanted me to see. Even though you're kind of telling me to go back. Push, push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <sighs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they flocked the roads. Oh, man, Barbara's listening. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Not the dog, please. Don't do anything to the dog. I don't want to see a dead dog, and you know, and uh, so I'd appreciate it if you don't throw that in there. That'd be nice. What is this? Okay. And there we are. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? One drink, maybe. Oh, one drink, wonderful. <laughs> She's married, though.
This Wendy is trying to get this girl to uh, cheat on her spouse. That ain't good. Getting eerie. Still are completely unsure of exactly what's happened. But I'm loving this game. Sure there was an easier way to go through right there. Hey. Phone call from Steven. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Oh, no. Okay. So there's definitely a lot going on. People disappearing, things getting sick. People getting sick and then disappearing. This windy lady is just trying to get someone to cheat on their, their spouse. No big deal. Right? I can't see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh God, he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine then. What? Come on, love. Come on. Whoa. Come on. What? I thought they were talking about a dog. What the hell? I mean, I understand you're trying to just get on your own, but... You just let this person just stay in there and die? Oh, wow. That's not good, and neither is... Okay, there we go. Man. Just left him there, huh? Not very kind or considerate. Where are you going? Where, where, why do we... What, are you trying to talk to me now? Was it trying to say something? Wonder. Hmm. Grief, Wendy, you catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman, a Christian woman, but I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes, I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. You should find a place to sleep. What does that mean? I wonder what's happened. I mean, kind of getting a gist for everything. Now, why did you go... You went back earlier. 
So I want to go back here and see if what's over here on the other side of the... This is just amazing. So what's all this for? Uh... come we're already here yeah oh it's just an alternate way to go okay well kind of a big old waste of time is pretty though okay so where are we going now Going pretty far now. I like how that waits sometimes. That's pretty nice. It's very considerate of it. I'm coming. What is that? Where'd he go? Oh gosh. Running around, running off, leaving me. I gotta go this way. Kynaston's Pond. Where are, you, where are you going? Are you gonna wait? Okay, cool. Very nice. So what's out here? What's going on? There you are. And... There we go. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mither and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the color of her skin. Don't look at me like that. No. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Oh. Oops. Oh, it's like a photo album of some sort. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's almost time to end the episode. See how much further I can get. But yeah, so apparently that's um, Stephen's mother, obviously, and then she doesn't like Stephen and Kate being together. Really, he's not too nice. Wait, where do you want me to go?
What is that? That was a giant uh, flower. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's go. You decided to take me all the way back over there for a little bit. Knocked up dust. Okay, apparently we need to go up here. Oh, it's a train station. I think it wants me to go this way. I'm really not sure. Yep. What is this? And what's our what's my shoes? I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard, Howard Lantham, you open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Hmm. Little radio right there that I guess he was... It sounded like he was trying to... Phones? Oh, man. Not very good, but... It sounded like he was trying to... Call someone or something like that? I'm not sure. Oh, look at the train. It's all derailed and stuff. Oh, I wonder if it wants me to go this way. I didn't really think about it too much. But, unfortunately, I do have to leave this one right here. Uh, it's getting pretty interesting. I mean, we're finding out a lot about these people, and I'm thinking what's happening is this... this story was... Um, Taking us around to how these people got to be able to go to the rapture. I don't know how you would say that, but yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. I really like it. I'm really enjoying this game. And if you do, please leave a like down at the bottom. And if you want to see more, just hit subscribe. I want to thank you for watching very much, and I hope you have a great day.